Welcome to Xara Template Tutorials for Xara Web Designer. In this video, we're going to be talking about the newest version of Xara Web Designer, which is version 11 Premium. And we're going to talk about the new feature called Stretchy. So once you have the new program opened up, you want to make sure you have a picture or an object placed into your workspace. Once you have that in your workspace, we're going to right click on it and select Web Sticky or Stretchy and it's going to bring up the web sticky or stretchy properties once it brings that up you'll see that you can either change the sticky properties or the stretch properties in this case for this tutorial we're not going to deal with sticky properties so you can skip that and we can look at the stretch properties and i want you to read that first sentence under the stretch properties it says stretchy objects appear behind the main page content unless they are sticky so anytime you have a stretchy object it's going to appear behind the main page content. So if you have text and, you know, payment buttons on your web page, that's going to be your main page content. But the stretchy object is going to be behind that. It's going to behave as a background. So I would recommend actually placing your uh, stretchy object on the page background layer so that you will always remember that that object is dealing with the page background, okay? Not the main page content, which would be things like your text or payment buttons and so on and so on, okay? Unless it's a sticky object, that is the only time that it's gonna be on top of that main page content, okay? So moving on to the next part, you have three options. Don't stretch, full width, or full height. In this case, we wouldn't select don't stretch because we wanna stretch this image across our web browser okay so we want to select full width because we want it to stretch from left to right across the full width of our web page in this case you can see that scale origin is not selectable and the reason it's not selectable is because we have it set to tile stretch object so anytime that you have a tile stretch object you cannot change the scale origin in other words it's going to use the whole image and it's going to do a tile repeat of that image across the full width of your web browser because we have it set to full width. So let's see what this looks like in our web browser. Click apply, click close, and hit F5 to preview. And you'll see that it tiles this image across the full width of the web browser from left to right. So it tile stretches or repeat across the full width of your web browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that out right click on the image again, select web sticky or stretchy. And this time we're gonna se select the option that says scale stretched object. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna stretch the image rather than tile repeat it across the full width of our web browser. And you'll notice that scale origin is now enabled and we have it set to center. So it's gonna choose the center portion of this image and it's gonna stretch it across the full width of our web browser, not tile repeat it's going to stretch it across the full width. So let's click on apply, click close, hit F5 to preview, and you'll see that it stretches the image from left to right. It doesn't repeat the image, it just stretches the image from left to right. So let's go ahead and close that out. Right click on the image again and select web sticky and stretchy. And this time let's select bottom for the scale origin. So it's gonna take the bottom portion of this image and it's going to scale stretch that object from left to right. And the reason it's going to scale and stretch it from left to right is because we have it set to full width. So click apply, close, hit F5 to preview it, and you'll see that it stretches the image from left to right using the bottom part as the scaling method. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that out. Right click on the image and select web sticky and stretchy. And this time we're going to change the uh, stretchy object to full height. So in this case, it's going to stretch the image from the top to the bottom of your web page. In this case, it's going to choose the scale origin of center and it's going to scale stretch that object again from the top to the bottom of your web page using the center portion of that image. So let's go ahead and click apply, close, and hit F5 to preview. And you'll see that it chooses the center portion of the image and stretches it from top to bottom. I'm not going to go through all of the, the options for the full height because it's basically the same as the full width, okay? It's just applying those concepts to the full height. So I think that you get the general idea of how the Stretchy Objects uh, new feature works in XR Web Designer 11 Premium. 
And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos. Be sure to check out our Patreon website page. Any contributions will go directly towards improving quality of audio and also the frequency of video productions. Please check out the link in the video description below.